Hola, como estás? Um, mi, um, Johnny. Um, mi, Johnny. Como estás, Fidel? Muy bien, y tú, Johnny. Uh, me amo, Fidel. Uh, nos, nosotros es un podcast muy bien, uh, los todos. Oh, oui, oui. Oui, oui. Bonjour, Jeff. Hi, what's up? Uh, je suis bien. Comment es-tu? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Ouais, ouais, ça fait du bien. Bonjour tout le monde. Bienvenue à l'épisode uh, uh, 40 quelque chose du, du podcast Games Cage. Uh, Aujourd'hui, on va vous parler du, uh, de beaucoup de choses. On, on doit parler de Paper Mario qui vient de sortir. On va parler de Ghost of the <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to the Games Cage podcast today and only today. We have a very, very fun show ahead of us. Right? It's a big one, right? Because we had two major game releases we got to talk about. And we also have, uh, it's, it's pr it seems pretty clear Nintendo's dropping a direct in the morning tomorrow again. Um, so we're going to do our predictions. We're going to talk about whatever comes up in that stuff. But of course, we're going to talk about the two banger games out there but first let me introduce the cast this time around so first we're gonna mention jeff who left uh first we're gonna mention johnny locks hello johnny hello and uh storm your hot you know he was here why is he calling me what jeff oh. hello I click on my phone he why says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> i was like where oh. is <laughs> ah. Wow, I was just about to introduce you, and we have Storm Yorha here. Hi, what's up? Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> and we, the two members we don't have uh, are Mr. Pio One and, and Noah. Now, here's what I want us to do, right? I want I want Johnny to tell us why Noah isn't here, and then I want Stor uh, Jeff to tell us why Pio isn't here, okay? So, Johnny, why isn't Noah here? Um, so, Noah... Lives with both of his parents. So, well, he doesn't live with both of them, but he has to, like, you know, um, he has to go to each of their houses, like, I think every week. Right, right, right. And also, he's, like, he's really sad. <laughs> All right. Okay. He also has to get a haircut, too. He does have to get a haircut. And, and Jeff, why is Pio not here? Uh, Pio uh, woke up late. Mm. Uh, so, like, he doesn't know what to do with his life. So, he's at the gym, apparently. What a... Yeah. What a sick human being, man. All right. Well, you know what? It's okay. We've got the three best podcasts. So yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. You Whoa. know? It's a bold claim, but I'm I'm, I'm going to make it, bro. I'm not fucking around anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be bold today. But And I, and right now, uh, Storm Yorha and Pion are actually having an argument in our chat while we're recording the podcast. Right? So let's... let's re you know what? I guess we're going to start with uh, Ghost of Tsushima thoughts. Then we're going to get to Paymar. So let's see what Pio and Jeff are arguing with in the chat. All right. So Pio put up a tweet, all right, saying, Ghost of Tsushima probably has one of the best side missions in an open world game. They make sense. And what you do is fun, but also logical to the world, not just filler. And then uh, Storm says, you have energy to lie. And then Pio says, "Huh? I can't remember the last okay, one." Let me, game. Yes. Let me let me let me summarize it. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> the thing about Pio, the uh, thing about Pio, that the, yeah. there's a reason why you are asking me. Yes. I'm not I'm not answering to Pio anymore because he's he just gonna listen to that episode. Right. Uh, the, the the reason why you're asking me my opinion on Ghost of Tsushima because uh, for everyone that doesn't know you're not you, you haven't bought, purchased but Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, yet, exactly. Right? I have not. I have not. You're waiting. You're wait, Yeah, you're waiting for opinion in yes. order to purchase it. Yes. So the reason why you want my opinion and not Pio ah. is that we all know that Pio blows everything out of proportion when he's hyped. Yes, absolutely. Like, he, I'm not denying it's a good game. Like, I'm, I'm not denying that. But when he's hyped, he's gonna say like incredibly like, <laughs> asinine shit. Like, I remember he said something like the Final Fantasy VII remake combat. Um. It's like Devil May Cry 5, like the same, like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think you even said that you fight a boss in the air. <laughs> when, like, in the game, you just, you just, you just, you just jump in a cutscene and then like, you fight for two seconds and, like, it's over. <laughs> like, and then he said about Death Stranding having, like, fucking amazing, uh, fucking uh, third person shooter combat and it is just like a fucking 15 minute scene. I hate it here, bro. And I hate it here. 
Yeah, everything, and then no, because she made oh, it's the best like, open world writing for side quests ever. Like, Jesus <sighs> Christ. Like, no, that, you can't. Ju- this is why you don't listen to Pyro. Like, he blows everything out of proportion. He it's is... a good game. It's a great game. But it's not like, I guess we're going to give our opinions on the we game later, but like, it's, not, it's, yeah, it's not like best ever category. Like, well, you know what? Don't. The thing about Pyro is just like, you just can't. Like, yeah, I remember when, I remember when you said FF7, like, it's like DMC where you're flying there. I'm like, the worst thing about that game is when you like press square and like you fly into the air to and to but hit you an can't enemy. jump. Yeah, you can't jump. It's like actually horrible to do that. You know, it's not fun. But yeah, we don't have pie. And anyways, what did Noah play? Noah played maybe like seven minutes of Paper Mario, right? And then he was like, <laughs> I don't like it. And he doesn't even like Mario or anything about Mario. I don't even think he likes fun. So I don't know what the fuck to tell like you. Shooters. He only likes shooters and and Death Stranding, exactly. And Tekken, apparently. So <laughs> there, there's there's your thoughts that that uh, now Pyos, yeah, Pyos being a little psychopath. But anyways, speaking, okay, let, let, then let's get right into it. Right? So I have not played Ghost. Johnny has not played Ghost. Now we have Jeff here that has been playing Ghost. Jeff, what is your like? Give us like your before going into this game. What were like your expectations? What have you? What were you thinking? Uh, about this stuff? My expectation were non-existent because I couldn't give two shits about this game. Mm-hmm. But I mm-hmm. bought it because uh, Pyro convinced me. Right. And then I didn't want you to feel bad, so I also pushed Paper Mario, another <laughs> game I couldn't give two shits about. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. And then. And then. The- uh. So you got the Wait, game. Wait, let me answer, Pyro. Okay. Let me answer, Pyro. It's like, oh my I bet, like, I bet, is if you, oh, fuck, my headphone, like, is like, totally low battery, so, like, it talks at the same time as me, oh and, like, confused. Oh, my God. Anyway, Pyro is, is telling me, if I tweet that Witcher 3 is a better game than Ghost of Tsushima, I'm going to get backslash, apparently, which is That's not wrong. True That's wrong. I think... First of all, I won't, I won't tweet that, because, like, who the fuck compares these two games? <laughs> and second of all, Pyro is doing Pyro again. Like, this is... This is why Pyo, Pyo, you can't, you can't like the same game as Pyo. It's gonna make you hate it all the time. Like every time you like a game and Pyo likes a game, you're gonna make you hate it every time. Yeah, I hate this human, Jesus. <laughs> he's not even here. He's making it this tough. What the fuck? <laughs> I just wanna stop his blonde head, Jesus. It's just, <laughs> he's just a painful human being, you know. It's just everything he's about just, him is wrong, you know. She's like, he's a boomer on like. Seriously. He's a boo- uh, anyway. So you ask me my opinion. On yes, yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. Keep talking to us. So, uh, so because I, I am, I am, I am so new, so I'm gonna start with the negatives. Yeah, right, all right. So uh, how? Yeah, exactly. But how much? How far into it are you? I am about to complete uh, Act One. Okay. Which is I don't know if you play Far Cry Five. I played Far Cry Five. Yeah. Oh, you see that like, you have like diff- different like um like the three big areas. No, not that. You have different, uh, I'd say, bosses. Yeah. Not really bosses. Like different arcs, right? Yeah, like you have the, the brothers. Like yeah, you, is, yeah. You, yeah, you have different uh, type of mission, and you can pick and choose like which one you're going to do first, right? Right, okay, okay. And each each mission is like a, a fucking uh, narrative tree to land on the, to a storyline completely and really right. to the, to the one. Right, so okay. it's like different storyline you can choose, right? Okay, yeah. If you complete all these three storylines, you're done with Act 1. And right, then act right. Two, and then, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm about to finish Act 1, so I'm, like, probably, like, five hours in, six okay. hours okay. in. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so there's different parts into an arc? I don't, I don't, I, I haven't completed Arc 1 to tell you that, but apparently, yeah. Uh, I think he I, means I, it's, I that, it's that thing where, like, you do, like, a bunch of main story quests until you reach the peak story quest, but you can do the, the main ones out of order until you get to, like, the main one, you know? Okay, because I was saying, like, does a story make sense, or does this, like... Oh, one part goes ahead, and the other part's like... Um, they're like a filler quests, so like it doesn't impact the grand story that right. much. Because <clears throat> the grand story like uh, is like the structure of the game. Right. I don't know. Right. It doesn't make sense right now, but like, fuck that. Like, let's move on. Yeah, let's move. So anyway, so, right. so what are your thoughts? So what are your thoughts? You start with the negatives, like you said. Uh, you're okay, around. start with the negatives. Exactly. Um, the negative I have is that it's, it has a terrible, and I mean terrible, lack of freedom. Right. Uh, I don't know if you guys played Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, yes. But like, did. in that game, if you sneeze during a mission, it's like game over. Yeah, exactly. It's the same shit here. You, really? If you move, like, yep. 
if you move like out of the line, you have 10 seconds to come back on mission over. If you get detected, mission over. If you if someone die, mission over. If you if you there's oh. no choice. There's no you can you can have a choice in that game, you know. Oh no. The missions are, are like yeah, they're really linear. Yeah, you wonder why it's open world, you know? Because like even even outside of the mission, like the world is pretty as shit. That's right. in a positive layer. Like, but like it's pretty, it's empty. Like there's nothing much to do in it. Yeah, that was there's like no interaction. Yeah, that was like my I, I worry when I saw the yeah. trailers. They were like, you, like yeah, it looked pretty, but like it looked like there was nothing in the world. Yeah, I think I saw someone on Twitter like make fun of a reviewer because they they took a they they called like not being able to cut bamboos as like a negative. Oh, it's like, so like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, they, they were making fun of that opinion, but like mm. I mean, I think it makes sense because that means like the world is interactive. You know, you can right. interact with the world. You can right. you can shift, change it like Breath of the Wild kind of. Right. Yeah. But there's none of that. The world is like still. There's it's nothing rigid, you can right. change. Okay. Yeah, it's rigid. You can't even climb climb anywhere. You and can? that's the crazy part. Cause, no, that, that's the crazy part because there's mechanics to climb. Right. Really fast, and you can jump from roof to roof. So okay. like in your mind, like you can climb, like it's it's there. Right. But they won't let you climb like the smallest shit. You have uh... to fucking follow. You have to follow a certain like. Uh, a, a certain road that the developer created for okay, that. Okay, it's one of those. Okay, I that's yeah. I thought I thought you could climb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you or you can climb, but if the developer wants you to. Right, you know, right. If there's like, like if they like, want you to get on the roof of that building, they're gonna put like a crater here and another pl- right. crater here. Okay. You can't you can just climb anything, you know? Okay, all right. Which is no. like not a bad thing, but like the mechanics are here and then they want you to be stealthy so like why not let you be stealthy in your own way right it's like, so linear that everything you do that like, even the stuff is linear like there's nothing mm. there's no creativity you can have like in ter- outside of the combat and okay okay so, like, it's, it's very very linear so i'm wondering why it's open world that's weird that's it, a I, 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 yeah it, i mean it could have been linear i don't uh, linear games are great and you can like tell better i, I don't know i don't know so that's my idea like it has a lack of freedom you know Okay, so like a fan. The, okay. the AI, the AI is like, is it bad? I've like, seen I've seen videos of like animals like killing stupid. themselves and stuff. The AI, the, the, the AI is like last gen Assassin's Creed. Bad. Oh my god, Jesus! I saw no, one video of like a. <laughs> I saw one video of like a, a boar like just running into fire and he just burned alive. Like, <laughs> fuck. That's yeah. That's the only thing animals can do. They can, they just charge at you. That's all. Oh. Yeah. So like, uh, so how is yeah. the combat system? Because I, because I'm hearing. Yeah. Because like, when I when the I, combat yeah. is like the is the positive section that okay. I'm moving on right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the positive. Uh, the combat. Okay. It the combat is. Okay. So there's two ways you call a game combat fun. Right. You call a game combat fun when it's deep. Uh-huh. There's a learning curve. There's a lot of like depth to it. Right. It's engaging, and you can call a combat fun one that is just like not deep, but that like, it just looks cool, you know. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah it just it's just flashy. It looks like cool. A, like like, uh, like action games, like like typical like exactly. Like that's, Bayonetta. Yeah, that's what I would call this combat. It's it's the animations are like, oh my god, the animations. Okay. okay. Like you actually feel like a samurai. Like the way the, the, that's why I say creativity outside of the combat. Because when you enter the combat, this is where like they let you do whatever you want, the fuck you want. Interesting. You can. Fucking like, uh, how do you call this uh, little shuriken that you ninja throw? I mean, not ninja samurai throw. Like, you know uh, the little knives. Uh oh, uh, Johnny, uh, what are they called? Ninja stories. The yeah, ninja- imagine like, yeah, you, you enter a fucking combat, like, right? Uh-huh. And then you, when you enter the combat, you just you just slide on the ground, you slice someone, and then you, you oh. jump. And while jumping, you throw the fucking knives. That stun the enemy, and what, before falling, you slice him open, and then you move to the next target, mm-hmm. and then you fucking like give him a kick. Mm-hmm. There's so much shit you can do in the combat. Did you, you can get move the, around. the stance change thing yet? I got. Uh, I only got one stance to unlock. Okay. Well, okay. The crazy part is that the stance are unlockable outside of the story. Ah, okay. Like okay. every pretty much everything you unlock in that game is like not story related. Okay. It, maybe outside of like the first bow you get because there's two bows. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everything like the armors, the fucking stands, the mm. the upgrades, it's all in side quests. Right. And so I got I got a wind stance, I okay. got a stone stance, and I got I forgot the name of the other stance. So what do the Whatever. stances do to be exact? Like if someone doesn't uh, basically uh, think of the south change, it didn't reply. Okay. But the one is for like quick hits. 
of them that can uh, stun enemy with shields. Uh -huh. One is like the basic, uh, the basic uh, jack of all trades thing. Right. The, the basic one they give you, and then the the other one I unlock is like uh, super like uh, flashy. I guess you can. Mm -hmm. This is where you get you give the kicks. You fucking like do fucking dancing. I guess this one is like dancing around with this style. Like it's like <laughs> fucking doing kicks. It's like spinning. It's like oh my god. Okay. Okay. So okay. So. See that that's that's kind of a good thing because like I, when I was watching yeah. videos and stuff, yeah. the part the co the combat just looked very dodge hit dodge hit dodge hit. It is it is at the big that, like mm. the base structure of the combat is is that you just dodge you hit you just dodge you hit. but okay. it's like every the presentation of it like it's that's what I'm saying it's stylish it's like mm. so cool okay. that you don't get tired of it even it's not as engaging as Sekiro it's okay. not like a deep it's not uh, it's not fucking it's not it's not deep okay. Okay. But it's cool. It's flashy. It's like um, mm. this is you're having fun just because it's so cool. To look right. And I mean, like, it could get something... deeper later. Like, because you're yeah. so early. Exactly. Like, this is not the type of that's like this is the type of game when you play and then someone walks in a room and he sees you like fight. It's like he's going to stand to look at, the, at what right. you're doing. That's like okay. so cool. Okay. Like, it's so, I hate that word. It's so cinematic, the combat. Right. Okay, that's that's actually no, that's like that's a do, okay. really good thing. Do you know the the uh, the, the fucking Twitter user Sunny Legend, the, the guy that makes gifts? That guy that makes like gifts of every game, yeah. This yeah. Is, the, the combat is Sunny Legend. The combat was mm. like it's made for this cool ass moment, like this badass moment. Like okay. it's there's so much shit to, to make in the combat that makes you look cool. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. That's okay. And yeah. now, what else? What else? Uh, what about the story? What like, what's this? How do you like the oh, story the so story. far? Okay, the story is very generic, okay. but it's not in your face. Okay. It's not. They let you, basically, they let you uh, treat the story at your own pace. It's mm -hmm. not like Last of Us when you, you're stuck with six hours of cutscene right. in the story you don't even like. Here, it's like your own pace. You okay. don't want to do the story, fine. Like, the story is not. It's like a big story that's generic. And out, right. inside of that story, there's like small arcs for characters. Okay. This is the interesting part, I'd say. Okay, okay. like the overall story is like very generic, but mm. it's not an issue because it's like it's it's not in your face. Right. It's just like a means to get to like the smaller stories. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And what else? What else? I mean, the graphics, obviously. Let's... It might be in right. Might really be the the best looking PS4 game. Do you really think so? Uh, do you mean like you mean environment wise, right? The environment, the models are like I've seen better in PS4. Yeah, they like the environment, the way the, the way everything moves, the way the drop mm -hmm. distance, the drop distance is amazing. It's like PC good. That's great. The the way, yeah, the drop distance, you can see pretty much the entire map. And like it's like it's like I felt like I was playing a PC game to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like the drop distance is amazing. Yeah, I mean like that. Um, like, that's been the the best part. Like me, like for me, this game, like the best part I've seen online is just like the pictures, like people's photo mode stuff in this game has been like beautiful yeah. to look at. This is the best photo mode, and uh, the way the wind—I mean, the wind reacts. The, the fucking right. foliage reacts to the wind. Mm. The way everything just moves around you. The, the way, uh, the way the world like just react to the lighting. Right. This is like fucking mind blowing. That's crazy. Like okay. absolutely mind blowing. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, that's that's that seems solid. All right, is there anything else? And then and yeah, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. What's so the uh, there's like you remember when you were making fun of the wind. Right. In that game. Yeah. Because you, you can see the wind. Yeah, like it's physical. physically see the wind. <laughs> we are making fun. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually not a gimmick. It's actually useful. Okay. Okay. Because when when you set like let's say you set a fucking uh, a fucking uh, how do you call that in English? Uh, the what? Uh, a fucking dot a map, like, like a landmark. Yeah. When you set a landmark to like right. imagine you were to that tower and you set the landmark on the map mm -hmm. when you first start. And then you come back to the game. There's no mini map, right? Okay. They want you to be immersed. Right. So like the way you're gonna see, you're gonna they, you just look around you. The entire like environment gonna lead you to that point because you see the foliage fly over that thing. You're gonna see birds. You're gonna see animal running. Okay. You're gonna see the wind. So yeah, you, you just follow all that nature thing, and you're gonna lead you to that the, mm -hmm. the, the way the you the, the, the fucking boating. Right. Like, the entire map just leads you. There's no like landmark. There's no like. Uh, fucking UI, there's nothing. They just mm. just look at the round and you're gonna lead you to the so, story. Is there an option to turn those on like an easy mode or is this that's how the game no, is? No, they want you to the <laughs> whole game. No, I think that's how the Jesus. game is. <laughs> no, you get you get used. It's pretty there's a reason why you can see the wind. They want <laughs> they want you to look at that wind, yeah. man. It's, 
yeah that it's pretty easy you get used to it mm-hmm. all right all right fair enough fair enough fair enough okay is there so and uh, how it's like how is mission structure is it just like you, someone gives you like a quest you go to a bandit camp you kill a bunch of guys and that's it so so far is uh so far the mission are like classic assassin's creed they're like oh, uh, follow uh, follow that guy on the horse mm. and then Okay. Uh, fucking uh, hide in a bush and uh, look at the enemy, try them, and then fight, right. and then go back and re- rinse and repeat. It's like the same uh, structure like you see in area as a sensory game. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. All right. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. There's a lot of camps to like free. Mm. The entire map is just camp. Right. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I, I don't. I feel like I because again, you said you're like five, six hours. I feel like I wanna. I just don't want to wait till like you've kind of gone more than half because yeah. that's kind of when open world then games you, either click more exactly. or they become boring. Exactly. Like, because right now yeah. I like it, but I, I don't know if I'm still like it in ten hours or twenty hours. Yeah. So when I, once I get to like end of Act Two, this is where I'm gonna have like yeah. I don't know how many hours right. they have. Well, next week's I show should be two, like. Yeah, Act Two. This is where I'm gonna I, I'm gonna like know if it's a game for you or not. Yeah, exactly. Because if you're listening to Pio. No, absolutely not. I don't do that. He's gonna, he's gonna tell you it's game of the year. Absolutely not. I do not listen to that, man. But uh, Jeff, uh, J- Johnny, how do you feel right now listening to this? Are you convinced? Do you still need more like excitement? I, I also oh. when I look at the cover, mm. I see as a uh, when I look at the cover of the game, uh-huh. I see that the uh, Jin, the main character, has mm-hmm. a fucking hook. Okay. So I don't know if he's oh, gonna hook. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if there's yeah. a grappling hook. Later. Yeah, there is. There is. I've seen footage like you oh, grab on like. <laughs> Okay, so if there's a grappling hook, maybe this is why they don't let you climb stuff because they want you to use it. Okay, maybe. okay. I'm assuming. I'm assuming because You're that's sure. a weird thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. So, Johnny, what's so up? so far with everything you're saying, I yeah. I'm definitely gonna pick up the game later on. Okay. Later. Do you play Shadow of Mordor? Yes. It's ex- it's it's Shadow of Mordor, but like samurai. Okay. Like it's like exactly like it's like the to the T so, or like it, the combat. I mean the combat is fun but it gives you the same vibe. Like right. you know what I mean. And then the scale of the game is kind of this kind of scale. It's like not it's not a giant map. It's right. a fucking island. In Japan, Japan is small shit. So it's mm. imagine you know. Um, it's kind of the same scale. It's trying to do like this. It's trying to do like a condensed fun game. It's not trying to do like this overblown Witcher three like Breath of the Wild shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Like let's not. Get carried away. It's like it's a smaller scale but fun game, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. I'm right. I'm done for that. All right. All right. That sounds that sounds good on the ghost front, and uh, hopefully uh, next week we'll have Pi on to to do his thing, and we'll have more progress on you. All right. Game over here. Sony. Oh, yeah. Sony. 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 Best fucking game of the generation. <laughs> That's Pia, but uh, the next game we got to talk about is one very near and dear to my heart and that we're actually all playing here is uh, Paper Mario. You guys can Mario. Uh, talk. I'm going to grab water. You're going to grab water. Okay, yeah, well, we can start this one. So, yeah, we have Paper Mario and the Origami King. That's right. It finally released. It's finally here. Only two months of only two months of it being announced, which is crazy, and we finally have it. Now, there's, I, I, there's so much to talk about for this game. I've been, like, holding in so many... Thoughts. Like, I've given some thoughts on Twitter and on stream and stuff, but I haven't been able to, like, sit down really with you guys or even by myself to just, like, think about it and talk about it all. So, Johnny, first of all, before yes. we get into it, what's your experience with the Paper Mario franchise? How did you feel going into this? And Because obviously it's a game where, like, a lot of people that are in love with the old games have issues with, with the, the newer ones. What's your whole thing? Um, So, I played every Paper Mario game, but mm-hmm. I didn't finish Sticker Star. Okay. okay, I thought that it was just terrible. Right, right. But um, I'm surprisingly enough, I'm the one of the many, one of the few people mm-hmm. that actually enjoy Color Splash. Oh yeah, like a lot. yeah, me too, me too. So playing this game, I my expectations were pretty high because mm-hmm. I fucking I love Paper Mario. Right. And even though the RPG elements are not fully there, uh-huh. I feel like this game is still holds up to be a Paper Mario game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but like, I rather prefer them use the elements of, like upgrading your items besides you know buying them all the time. Right. I mean, like, like really yeah, 
Yeah, all right, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, like, my 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 past is, it's like, I'm actually, like, I mean, I'm not really vocal, but I'm, like, I'm really, I mean, in general, everyone knows I'm a Mario guy. Um, but Paper Mario is definitely a series that's near and dear to my heart. Like, I've played them all. Like, I played, I think, every single one. I didn't, obviously, like, the N64 one I had to play later, but, like, I played Thousand Year Door back then. I played the N64 one I on, like, Virtual Console on the Wii. Uh, I played Sticker. So, I, I'm actually one of the, I love Super, Super Paper Mario on the Wii was, like, one of my favorite Wii games. Um, Sticker Star, I'm actually one of the few people that enjoyed. I didn't even know people hated that game till I went on the internet and saw that. Um, I adored Color Splash. I thought Color Splash was totally a step in the right direction. It was funny as shit, some cool scenarios. Um, and here we are with this one. Yeah, for like this game, so far, if we're like gonna start diving into our, th- our thoughts on it, it's like, I love it so much. And it's like, for me, yeah, it's like obviously, I, I like the series, the series. To me, the series changed after, like, ever since Super Paper Mario. Because, like, Super Paper Mario, yeah, it has, like, XP, but, like, it's not even, like, turn-based. It's, like, it's just, like, you're, you're, you know, you know, it's, like, that live-action combo where you're jumping on the enemies. You don't go into, like, a combat scenario, which is, like, really weird. Um, But, yeah, so, to me, like, the franchise has always just been evolving and changing with how it does things. And, again, what I've always loved about Paper Mario in general is just how... That's kind of when you get, obviously, like, none of this shit is canon. It's just for fun and shits and giggles and stuff. Um, but it's just, like, that's where you get to see a lot of the charm of the Mushroom Kingdom because you get the characters talking. And it's, like, th- for this game and especially Color Splash and this, it's, like, you're you're getting, like, a comedic side that's just amazing. Like, the, the localization team and the initial writing in general, it's, like, they've done such an amazing job at making these... Like, a lot of these jokes and a lot of these funny moments and a lot of these characters just, like, they genuinely pop out. They're just so entertaining. And, like, there's so much to talk about. Like, like like, like I said, so, so far I'm on, like, basically what is chapter two of the game. Because technically, I'd, I'd say, like, there's, like, the prologue, which is, like, the woods. And then area one, which is chapter one, which is, like, the mountain. And then chapter two would be like the the area I'm in the blue stream or the fall like uh, mountain area we've seen in trailers and stuff, um, and yeah, it's just like for me the game I've just like I just adore it, man. There's something about it that just it just makes me smile. Whether it's the funny writing, whether it's like the this like they put you in such like funny weird scenarios like like the one of the first i don't want to spoil things anything in the game because we're it's super early but like one of the earliest things in the game that i was streaming and stuff is like you get to these woods and when you save the tree like the trees start dancing around you're like what the fuck is going oh my on god it's so random it's so weird and this game has a toad everywhere everywhere it, it's it's like, you know, it's like you don't even know like if they're there like you hit a random tree, bam, it's a toad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you see a butterfly, you hit it, bam, it's a toad. You see a dog, bam, it's a You see a, a bug. <laughs> you see any anything you think looks suspicious, it's a toad. There's nothing, there's, it's nothing else. It's always a toad. And again, I love it because like they'll pop out, they'll say something completely stupid, and then they'll just fucking bounce out. And what's cool is like, what so like, like when I think about like the combat system, I actually find it's like, I find it more engaging and interesting than Color Splash and Sticker Star. Because to me, Color Splash and Sticker Star were like watered-down versions of the old combat. Whereas here, it feels like it's more of like this puzzle combat system. Where like you got to figure out how to line up the enemies properly. And then you have to do your timed attacks and stuff. It's like some of those like... Some of those can be really challenging. Like, it's like it's not every encounter ever where I, I like get it right away. Oh yeah, I place these guys here, I'm done. It's like some of them are like are spread in such weird ways that like you really have to like think about how the fuck you're supposed to place them correctly for the proper lineup. Because if you don't know, the way it works is like you have to line up the enemies correctly to get like 1.5 times damage and you get like more turns to attack. Otherwise, like you're you're not screwed, but like, you're just gonna do minimal damage and like the enemies are gonna be spread out more. Yeah. Um, what do you think about it so far? Like the the combat system, uh, Johnny. I think it's amazing. It's I really cool, it. right? It, it actually makes you think, like you're yeah. not just pressing buttons that oh you got to this that that. Like mm-hmm. you have to have to like strategize what yeah. you have to do. Exactly. Uh, Especially the boss fights. Oh my yeah, because the, the boss fights like become like a different kind of game, right? Because the boss fights That's become. What I'm saying. Exactly. So Jeff, I, this I, I'm very curious about you, right? Because you are, 
not a Mario guy whatsoever. I'm pretty sure this is like your first Paper Mario, right? Yep. Yeah, so it's like I'm so curious on your perspective. I know we've talked a bit off uh, camera about this, but not too much. But it's like I want to know, like, going into this, what did you expect? How far into you? What do you think so far about it all? Uh, this is why I cringe when you guys said the combat is good. Oh, really? Okay. Really? Okay. Okay, so um, just like Ghost of Shima, I had zero expectation because I couldn't give yeah. two fucks. You, you convinced me. Get it? Yes, yes. I got it. Uh, since I was so real, let's start with the negatives. Yeah, let's go. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, it has one of the most boring and frustrating tutorial segments I've seen in a game. Really? Okay. Like, uh, uh, the, the, t- the, the tutorial uh, segment, mm. I was actually pulling my hair out. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the fact that you can speed up the dialogue and they stop you every two seconds to, to, to fucking talk right. about everything, just like it's the deepest game ever. You have mm. to explain mm. every mechanic in depth. When I the fact that they have to repeat this, the thing they tell you, they have to repeat it two or three yeah, times. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I know. I know but, the first two hours, they, there's definitely a lot of they, the, I was, I was like, oh my God, I was dragging. <laughs> like, they, they, every time you start a combat, that fucking flying paper stops you to tell <laughs> you the yeah. same shit they tell you like two <laughs> fights ago. Like, stop! Right, yeah. Because it, it is oh like a God. very weird, different combat system. So I understand why in the beginning they're trying to teach no. people. Because it can be like, it's like, because then they teach you. Because they introduce that element first where you spin it. And then they introduce the thing where you slide it like inwards and outwards. Yeah. Um, but, but, yeah. I, I think it's, it's, a, it's such a gimmick. Right, right, right. The combat is such a gimmick. Okay, okay, okay. That's when fair, the game yeah. opens up, like, you, you mm. can tell. Uh, I'm not familiar with the series, so I don't know if the combat always been like that. No, it's not. It's not. So it's not. The, it's not the series identity. So okay. So basically, um, let me let me explain it to you. Basically, the first two games were basically like. So you know when you do the thing where you bounce on the enemy's head, but you have to press A at the right time. Yeah. And like when you do that for the hammer, where you have to time the hit correctly. The quick time event. Yeah, the quick. That's always been in the series, but back then it was okay. just it was just turn based fights. With those okay. quick time events. Okay. Um, so then, uh, I yeah. feel like the combat was based on a like cool mini game idea. Yeah, exactly. That someone had in the, the toilets, and yeah. then like, oh, let's make an entire game on that. Because <laughs> this is a this is a fun this is a fun idea. It's funny. It's a good idea. Yeah. But like, if you make an entire like, uh, how much? How long is it? Thirty hours? And, uh, I don't know. Twenty five, thirty apparently. Oh so, my! Yeah. A twenty five hour with that combat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know right. if you read that. But see, like, I I find like. They put you in, like, a lot of unique, like, especially, like, I really think, like, I loved the first area, the mountain that you're climbing. Um, but I think the blue streamer area, the second area, is where the game starts, be- like, e- like okay. becoming mind blowing Because you said you started loving it when you got to the Toad Town, right? Because, yeah, you want to get to exactly. your positives, I assume, now. Uh, wait. What you got done? Oh, uh, do I have another negative? No, the, the, my negatives are like the tutorial and the combat, that's right, all. Right, right. No, the positive, the mm-hmm. positive. Because uh, I took notes. Oh, you took you notes. Know? Obviously, oh, the aesthetic. Yeah, I, I think yeah. we can all agree no, the no, aesthetic. No, no, no. Is... I'm, I'm going to start with the biggest uh, positive. Oh? The writing. Yes, sir. That yes. is absolutely the best. Bro, they're making me... They are making me like these characters yes, that have sir. been... In the Mario universe for like fucking decades. Uh-huh. I always, I always seen as like soulless mobs that you just mm. kill. We are thinking it's they're so making weird. me like these characters like yeah. fucking 20, 30, <laughs> whatever years later. So it's this, is, like, I actually care about characters in the Mario universe now. Yeah, like when I see a Todd, a, a Toad. Oh, you say that? Toads are great, man. That's a Todd. Yeah, That's a Todd. Todd. You said Todd. I hate. <laughs> oh my god, Todd Howard is like watching. God damn it. Um, I fucking love toads. I, they're like so. They, bro, toads are like me. They're, they're just me. They're Dude. just jaded with everything. They're, they're naive as fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen a toad just like uh, swimming in a in a yeah. fountain. Yeah, yeah. He's and he's like, oh, oh, I'm a paper and I like water. <laughs> My my psychologist say I'm a contrarian. I don't agree. Dude, I, 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 fuck, I was fucking man. dying. There <laughs> are so many funny toads. And, like... and then there was a narrative that was like uh, buried toads. Like they were yeah. buried on the ground. I fucking pulled every damn one of my one. And then the last one, like, I always saw his hand. I know what you're talking about. And yeah. I pulled him. <laughs> uh, it was like, they pulled me the deepest because they're afraid of me. 
fucking <laughs> dude. <laughs> some of funny. these toad lines are fucking yeah. amazing. Like, and uh, someone was like, uh, "Thanks for thanks for saying this, so I can work like eighteen hours a day on my show." Yeah. <laughs> dude, what? Yeah. Some of them they're like they're shaped like like dogs, and then when you yeah. hit, them, they'll still be like woof woof. Oh, sorry, I still I thought I was an animal. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yeah, when they're like grasshoppers, they're trying to act like grasshoppers. Dude. But everything, everything from the writing is... Like, I see people man. say that it's like... Uh, I see people say that it's like, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm doing memes, am I funny? Like, no. Dude, the writing is so no, good, man. Bro, just, you know, it's, it's good. Like, let's give them that. It's yeah. good. It's and even like just writing. the story stuff, like like Olivia's super charm, Dude, Jeff, I know when you meet Bobby, which is the little Boba, you're going to like love him. He is... Everyone okay. loves oh, that guy. Yes. He's gen- like... Ever okay. since when you meet Bobby, because he's basically got that like sassy attitude, but he's like super charming. It's like the writing is just so okay. amazing. So where exactly are you, by the way? Uh, I got all the stones. Okay. Oh, and okay, I okay. Enter, and I enter a fucking. Uh, museum, I don't know. Right? You know the, the fucking. Uh, I don't like. I don't know if it's a museum. Yeah, it's you're, like you're, underground. you're in the underground museum. Yeah, you're about to fight the base. And then, yeah. yeah, when you select like the, the fucking. Toy box, they like uh, right. tell you the story. Tell you the story place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you're someone, there was the like one boss. toy that was stuck inside. Okay, so you're about <laughs> to fight the first boss, right? Okay, you're, you're... Uh, and then I think I fought like four giant chai guys playing soccer. Okay, see, that's not a boss. No, no. you're about okay. to fight. Ba- so basically, you're gonna see something different. Where once you're about to fight a boss, and in this game, bosses play differently than the main combat. In boss scenarios, like you basically. That. You basically have to walk towards the boss by like, really making fine, a path. Like, yeah. It's like you got to make a path okay, basically like to get to it. I and like, it's like, it's difficult, but it's like a clever puzzle in there with yeah, everything. It's I like, like, hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I like that. The oh, fuck? The fuck? Hi. Hello? Hello? Hi, Noah. How are you? Are you recording? Yes. Yes. Oh, where are we? We're talking about Paper Mario. Oh, so we haven't got to direct? No, we have not gotten to direct. Dub, I will be right back. I'm going to hop on my PC. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. We got a, a anyway, random note. Uh, yeah. So moving on to the next positive. Uh, I, I, I think people underestimate how important pacing is in a video game. Right. And I think this game has the perfect pacing. Mm-hmm. Like, actually perfect. Pa- the pacing is actually on point. I Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's because they... Every note, it's yeah. like, yeah. Every corner, you can just fucking eat a fucking fly and it's like toad. Yeah, exactly. Every corner is like filled with something to do. There's not a, like, I don't know if you, if you counted that, but if you mm. count the game while playing, every, that they, they don't leave you more than 20 seconds without something happening. That is true. Either it's an enemy, yeah. either it's a toad, either it's like a fucking thing to collect, there's always thing to collect. Exactly. There's always thing to keep you engaged, you know? Yeah, and like, you get a lot of coins in the game, but like, you, you basically like, you have so many like things you can use the coins for. Like, you can get the the toads to. You can cheer the toads in your crowd. Oh, I also love when you collect the toads; they go in the crowd, like which is really cool. Yes, um, I have so many. Yeah, there's so many in the crowd, and like they can help you in fights if you cheer them for coins. You can buy like you have. You're gonna have to at later points like buy shiny boots and like shiny hammers so that you do more damage yeah. in fights. And it's like, I I just really think it keeps you engaged. Yeah, you were saying pacing. Exactly. I think one of the things yeah, I really I mean, love. I mean, I said- Pacing, yeah. but, uh, I mean, I was saying that the, the fucking tutorial was uh, right. dragging, but I'm uh, obviously I'm, I'm talking about when you pass that. Yeah, exactly. No, and, and it's like you're gonna see, like, especially like where you're at, and where, like, what I love about the game is it, it like, it has kind of these, re- like, the areas are like really big. Like the fact that I'm on chapter two after like maybe like chapters like five, six, like six, maybe seven hours long. It's I love that because like it keeps you engaged in that area, and they put you in different scenarios, different scenarios, different scenarios, and it's just so like. There's just something about how they keep doing things, which is amazing. And again, this like the characters are so lovable. Every like everything about the game is just it's yeah. They just know like they know how to keep you engaged in that world. And that's why I really love it. And like, man, the we haven't talked about it yet, obviously, but like the aesthetic is so good. Oh like, my god. It looks yeah. amazing. Like Yeah. That's the best looking Switch game to me. It's beautiful. Like it's like obviously it's, it's, it has an Easily. art style which I love. Whenever any Nintendo game with yep. art styles are like my favorite. Um, mm-hmm. But like the art style is so beautiful. It's like I think what I love is it's the same reason I really love like Yoshi's Crafted World or like Kirby's Epic Yarns yeah. because they don't just have the aesthetic. 
the the world plays uh-huh. with it. Like it, it, it you're engaged uh-huh. with the aesthetic, so you believe in the the world. Oh, and the water. The oh water? yeah, the water. Oh, yeah, the water looks insane. Oh, my I don't know oh, how they fun. did that, which is really weird. <laughs> and the what is that? It's fucking intelligent system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If they can make games look that good, why they handle Fire Emblem to fucking uh, Koei Koe Tecmo? Tecmo? That's that's the problem, man. Pyro's oh, saying he can't join. Man. Why? Let's see. Let's let's ring him. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna ring him right now. Let's see if he can join in. Look at his gorilla blonde head. I'm ringing you. The fuck? Maybe his app is broken. Yeah, he's, got, he's gonna come in the call. <laughs> Sony! 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 <laughs> But yeah, no, it's like yeah, you're, like right now I'm in uh, basically the, near the end of chapter two, and like they do some hilarious fucked up shit. So I I I love everything they've been doing. Yeah, what are you saying, John? Maybe he can't talk because he got so his dick inside his mouth. Maybe, maybe. Once you get to chapter three, mm-hmm. then you'll see this is not your normal like Mario game. Man, like it's like ends like yeah, especially like for me as like a fucking for me as a just a Mario fanboy in general, just like. Any excuse to like hear these characters talk and be fights like I laugh out loud so many times playing this game and like to, yeah with um like with chapter three mm. like characters actually get depressed right like they actually like have emotions Mario fucking That's dies probably. oh yeah oh what's, what's happening? because like Pyle said like Pyle said he wants story right right well this game has story yeah after chapter yeah. three. Oh, hey, Pio. Hi, Pio. Pio. Pio, Pio, Pio. Yeah. Before we give your opinion, right? Yeah. I just I just want to ask you one question. Yeah. Why even if I like a game, it's, n- it's never enough for you? <laughs> what you, uh, you started it. What the fuck? You sent my tweet to the chat and then start debating me. No, I, I sent your tweet in the <laughs> chat because you were saying that you were, bu- you were buzzy at the gym. So I was like, you're buzzy enough to tweet. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, that's why, that's why I put it in the chat. I didn't put it in the chat to say you're wrong. Uh, and okay. After, after oh, I put okay. it in the chat, after oh, I put yeah. it in the chat, I put it in the chat, and after I put it in the chat, I wrote, I read the tweet. I didn't read the tweet before putting it. So after I, you put it in the chat, I read it, and I was like, hmm, are you sure about that? Which are three, though? Yeah. Because in the tweet, you said yeah, it has the best writing ever in like, side quest. No, no, no. I, I, didn't say, I said one of the might, might. Okay, okay. Because no, no. I, didn't, I didn't even read your tweet. I just put it in the chat. Because I have why, to finish the game to, to give it to I just put it to say why you're tweeting at the gym. That's what you Wait, so you have to finish the game. To, to, to give your... Yeah, because, because later on, maybe not as good as now, you know? But why give your opinion now that it has like one of the best side quests if you don't even finish That's why I say might. <laughs> he did use the word might. Anyway, so we have Pyre here and we have Noah here. So the whole cast is now here, 42 minutes in. Hello. Um, here's all. Well, well, first, we'll, J- Pyre, first Paper we'll wrap Mario our. Is, it's pretty good. Okay, okay. Noah, why do you sound 10 miles away? What? No, now he sounds normal. Okay, he sounded 10 miles away for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, wait, wait, let's. Wait, let's We'll, we'll get okay. So you like Paper Mario? Pio, we'll get to your ghost thoughts once we wrap our fucking our Paper Mario thoughts segment. Okay, here, okay? okay. All right. So yeah, no, uh, what we're saying yeah. So like so far, yeah, we're still all we're not. I wouldn't say we're all we're like still fairly early in. Next week we'll have more. Like I'm, I think we'll. Yeah. Mo- I'll be done by next week. John will be done by next week. I don't know if Noah will be. Yeah. Maybe he'll be near it. Um, but yeah, everything about it so far to me is just like I'm just so happy, man. Like this. Uh, it's everything I could have wanted in, in this kind of game. Because again, I I know the direction the series took, and I and I've been on that ride. And it's like this to me is just I loved Color Splash. So to me, the fact that this is just better Color Splash is like that's a massive plus for me. Because I um mm-hmm. I actually read someone's comment on Twitter the other day. Um, well, I think it was today actually. But they're saying how like maybe if the next Paper Mario game, mm-hmm. they should just do something entirely different. Like, don't even make a turn-based game anymore. Right. Because, like, then that'll make, like, the hardcore, like, purists of the other Paper Mario games. We'll have an excuse to say, oh, this is Paper Mario game. I would rather have turn based on that combat. Mm. To me, honestly, like to me, this series, like right now, what I, to me, I'm here for the the scenarios and the writing. The combat is great, and I'm having, and yeah. I'm loving what. Like I've actually like I've never skipped a fight yet or anything. Like I just I've I've gone into every battle I've seen everything, and like to me, it's like just keep leaning into the the adventure story comedic scenario elements of the game. Cause like, right. 
that shit really, really stands out. Like, it's just so dope. I, I love it. Um, all right, moving on. So, Pio. Yes. So, you're here. We, so, <laughs> I said yes, I know. We, we spent... <laughs> so, we, yes. we, we talked about Ghost for the yes. first... Uh, yes. 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 I, I don't know. I don't know if I did this special. What the fuck? Yes. Anyways. Yes. So, we talked yes. about... <laughs> all right. No. We talked about Ghost at the beginning. Uh, Jeff... Said yeah, he has some issues with it, but he likes it. How about you? So you're our our PlayStation fanboy here. How do you feel about it? Uh, what do you, uh, how, uh, how do you think I feel? Give, just give me give me all your thoughts. <laughs> you know, I, I know I know I know how you feel. I know. But just give me give, give the internet your in depth thoughts. They deserve it, you know. Yeah, okay, okay. Imagine me disliking a Sony Imagine, game. Imagine, could uh, impossible. Ah, impossible, never <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of problems, but uh, never mind. Okay, um, I have about 24 hours to think, or 23. 20, uh, Jesus. Uh, How did that game come out two days ago? You're like 24 hours already. Uh, because, like, uh, I play it a lot. Yeah, clearly. Oh, my no, God. but, uh, okay, okay. So, basically, um, I've not done basically. a lot of... Uh, main mission but the main missions are getting better i did two of them before i went to the gym today okay uh i've done like i don't know how, how far i'm into the story to be honest with you i'm still act one You're still this is act one, one down there yeah still act one. Oh because like God. I, I can't start doing the uh every time i find something i have oh, to do it when, when i see a fox i have to chase it you know right. uh, i don't know uh, same with the encounters every time i see like a random encounter i have to do it because like those encounters they're random they actually oh. give you stuff so like let's say you save someone uh-huh. Uh, they will like tell you about the place, uh, a secret or a, uh, uh, let's say, a okay. submission location. Or That's all I was saying. Like, everything you unlock is not in the main story. It's like side quest. Everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, I, got, I just got a fucking new bow on the side quest. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, the side quests aren't actually important uh, to possess it for it. But, like, if you want to, you can only do the side missions too. Uh, the side missions too. Like, right. uh, it's not like, mandatory to only do. Uh... But, a lot, like, okay. So, uh, going into this game, uh-huh. I was actually afraid that the combat would not be good. Right. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't read watch interviews. I like to go in as bad as possible to games, mm-hmm. uh, just in general. Uh, what I'm most shocked about are the stances. Uh, so, let's say uh, I, there are four stances in the game that I know of. I have three of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. And basically, you can switch, uh, you can switch them while I do combat. Yeah, uh, that we th- talked about. The one I have now is uh, normal swords. There are one against strong against shield, strong against... Uh, other opponents, I think it was um, the spears uh-huh. enemies. And like you have to like, out the dance, the dance dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, fucking spinning around, kicking. Yeah, we can do like a switchy music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can bro, You can fucking kick a guy and he flies. The fuck? <laughs> I did, okay, it was funny to me. I kicked him. He had stabbed him in the air. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Also, there was that one time. Uh, I don't know how this works, but. I jumped down from a building and they shot me in the air and the arrow I died. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, so they can actually shoot Christ. me with arrows. Yeah. So okay, okay. I do play yeah. hard though, so they're a bit like, more aggressive. Oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the thing that you, you, you can't dodge arrows, they're like, they have auto aim. Unless you press a uh, circle, you can, right. ru- you can run, you can fucking fly, they, they're gonna eat you if you don't press it. Right, okay. Uh, oh, I didn't have the ability where you can parry arrows though. I can parry arrows now. Oh, oh, that's okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's cool. Also, uh, there's uh, two abilities. There's you can block, and then you can parry them. And parry them like like breaks them. I don't know what different is, but like you can do it at least. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, but so the com- the combat is the most surprise to me. That's I I, I like because all I've seen is basically the uh, E3 gameplay and all the trailers. Yeah. And I showed like a, really, a lot of gl- combat to be honest, uh, except for that state of play. But even yeah. that, it was like they only showed like the beginning parts. They right, basically yeah. showed nothing. So I'm yeah. happy about that. So story so far, I mean, I, I can't, I still, I'm still very early on in the story. I can't tell much about the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I will say that the last mission I did about the story was good. That, that was, uh, that was good. Uh, they, they do have like, uh, it, it makes sense what you're doing basically. Right, okay. Uh, the open, here, here's the biggest thing I like. The open world stuff, uh, because like, you know, open world, uh, especially after Breath of the Wild and Red Dead 2 and all that. Yeah. Uh, this could be bland, right? Yeah. It's not bland. It's like wherever you go, whatever you do, have fun, which is the most important part. Okay. Uh, I'm Jeff, not bored. Obviously, I have a lot of hours. Right. Like, Jeff was saying, Jeff was saying he felt like the world was like empty. I don't know if you agree or not. Yeah, like I was saying, yeah, I was saying that there's not much interactivity, but that like, the map is not that big. So like, it's not like it's not like you're bored. You, you, you get whenever you want to go, you get it fast, basically. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but there's like always something to do. Like let's say you go to a place. There's a bird that you can follow to unlock a secret. 
Or just like uh, small enemies uh, trying to attack each other, so you have to like save someone. Oh my god, oh, you ran your something. Uh, there's a what? mechanic in the game that actually made me laugh. Like I was... I, so the Mongols, they have eagles. The and the, their eagles are like drones. If the eagles detect you, they're gonna go to the camp and uh, tell the Mongols that they saw you. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's like, funny. What the fuck? That, I don't know. How that, do I, how are the eagles gonna tell them? <laughs> IP, <laughs> IP detection. And a samurai, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright, cool. Well, you know what? It's, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the game. Like, it just feels good to have a major PlayStation and Nintendo game come out and everyone's happy, everyone's chilling. There's no one. Like both games are equally. Like, yeah. Like, everyone's yeah, like just that having that a game. good time, man. Well, I, I should tell you that uh, yeah. just because of Nintendo or exclusive or Sony exclusive come out, everything, it, it depends on the fan bases. Obviously, like, yeah. Last of Us fan base and Xenoblade fan base, they're like way worse than Ghost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. To, to be yeah. fair, I think the Sony, like, players, they started first. You make it with no, they start like the fight. Anymore. They start the okay, fight. I feel, yeah, like, I feel like if these two games, if one of these two games, Paper Mario and Ghost of Shima, if one of these two games had, like, a one higher, way higher score, right, like, this, it, it was, like, star something. Right. Like, yeah. well, I mean, the, 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 the score is similar. The score are so similar, like, yeah, it was just, yeah. They're basically next to each other. Yeah. So yeah, cool. All right, cool shit on the games front. All right, cool. Now, uh, let's move on to some. So there isn't really much news this this week, uh, really. Other like there is some stuff about like um the Xbox event. So we now know that the event's gonna be an hour long, and it's just gonna be games, no hardware, anything, and that's gonna be really Age. fun. That's that's Thursday. So dang it, I'm so pissed. Why no? What's wrong? I was, to- I was just hoping, you know, for a one hour. One on one talk about Phil Spencer. I know, and man. He the shirts he does. <laughs> I know, bro. But I feel it. And and what's crazy is they're they're already going to discontinue Xbox One X and uh, Xbox One S, which is crazy. Um, the fuck. Smart, I mean, but like, they're already discontinuing them. Usually, the consoles don't get discontinued until like a year later or some shit. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like, they keep the Xbox One S, though. Oh, yeah, the which Slim. Is really yeah. Weird. Which is the Well, because well, it's the Slim, right? It's, it's like cheap. the cheap thing you can get rid of in stores, right? But the thing is, like, you, I, like do you think it'd rather be, like, good to keep the more powerful one? No, it doesn't make sense. Think one, about right? it. Because, think about it, right? Because it rivals uh, Series X. Xbox, it can be confused with. It can, not only can it be confused with it, but two, like, Xbox One S is gonna be so dumb cheap, like, cause the Xbox One X is still yeah. like four hundred dollars. It's like a goofy <laughs> price. Yeah. No, it's like if you actually look around, you get you get for like three hundred to two fifty. Yeah, but like that's how like, yeah, you look around. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. Xbox. What I'm saying is like the Xbox One S is just something you can get for someone for cheap and easily. You know, it's like it'll be like that thing's gonna go down to like one hundred, one fifty dollars soon. It's like that's when they can get rid of. And also, they don't want to like have the stores be flooded with like because think about this holiday right they only want the new consoles to be out there and fine if you want an, an old xbox you can get the one as because the, they don't want you to go to the store and see the lockhart the xbox series x the xbox one x the xbox one the xbox one s like then you're gonna get the shit out of people also uh, uh if you guys seen lockhart rumors lockhart is basically xbox one x like identical yeah, oh, really? it's just locked. Oh, it's, it's just locked at 1080p. Wait, what? It's, it's called Lockhart. No, that's the project name. We don't know the official name. Why are they calling that? Uh, no, they everyone. What everyone's <laughs> been saying insider-wise is that it's Series S. Uh, Xbox Series S. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, that's not confusing. Okay, so let, let's say a developer, right? Yeah. For for Xbox, are you gonna make now? Are you gonna try to optimize for Xbox One? S? First of all, the original Xbox One, <laughs> Xbox One S. Uh, Xbox One X, Xbox One Series X, and Xbox One Series X. I, this is, I it's, I mean, I mean, no, it's not about the optimization. It's not hard. You're just it's a you're playing. It's like playing on a PC. It's like PC sliders. It's capable of 4K, but you're locking it to 1080p 60, so it always runs games at 1080p. Instead no, the of thing is like, imagine going to a store and say, "Can I get the Xbox One S?" You be like, "Oh, the Series S, the regular S." I right, listen. So I'm not agreeing like, with their stuff, but I mean, well, I think that, it's. It's well, stupid. first, because the thing is, the next Xbox is just Xbox. 
right? That's why they're now calling it Series X, Series this, because like the, this new Xbox is just Xbox. Like you look at the new box art for games, it's just it just says Xbox and it says which console it's compatible with. And I think that's so oh, that's smart. Optimize for Series X. Don't forget that. Yeah, exactly. No, now cool. that looks yeah. stupid. But what I will say is I like that it shows which Xbox it's compatible with. Because like let's say your mom goes to the store and she sees which one's <laughs> compatible with. She'll be like, she'll be like, like if it's like for Christmas some shit, she sees that she's like, okay, so my son doesn't have that one, the Xbox One. He has the Series X, so they'll know which what game they can get it. For. <laughs> I'll fucking know. Your mom won't well, know. No, but yeah, you're, right. Won't know. you're right. No, what I'm saying is is at least it says which games are optimized for which console. Like, let's say this holiday they're buying a console. They'll know which games they work on. So, we'll but see. No, the thing for now, yeah. the mom won't know what Xbox it is. No, you, it, you know moms don't fucking remember. Oh, my, my son has that one with that many fucking gigabytes and all that. Yeah, it's so mom, like, all, all, all a mom's going to remember is Xbox. Not, not serious, yeah. Xbox. And that's why right, I can't even keep up with the names. Listen, like, and mom. that's why they want to phase out these old ones so that when fucking mom or grandma goes to the store, they just oh, see the yes. two new boxes and they can tell people this is the cheaper one and this is the beefy one. Like, it's same thing for PlayStation. So they're just going to do that. Um, same thing for PlayStation. No, I said like for like how, they're, no, they're they're rele- that's not what I mean is they're releasing the the slim the, the all digital and the regular one. They want just to have those two skews. It's gonna be like phones, man. At some point, it's gonna be like phones where at some point you just understand like how it all works. That's what they're moving towards. Um, Bro, you 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 overestimate casual. Yeah, I, my aunt, my aunt, she she asked me when the PS4 was out. Uh-huh. She asked me if she could get the PS4 to my cousin because he hasn't played the PS3. Right. She, she asked me if it's okay. Well, <laughs> fuck old people, I guess. All right, let's move. Jesus. We're moving on to the next thing. So, yeah, <laughs> other than that, there really wasn't any uh, news this week. But, but, what well, we are but. here, <laughs> but, haha, ass. All right, you get it? Why are you angry? Okay. Now, uh, it's, <laughs> it seems by, like, every person ever, it, it seems to be pretty apparent that Nintendo tomorrow morning is going to pull what they did in March. And just drop a direct uh, tomorrow morning. Which I fucking hate that so fucking much. I know. Yeah, um, really annoying. I wish they wouldn't but do I, that. I'm going to watch it live or archive? I'm going to watch it live, bro. Of course. I'm going to wake I'm gonna wake up. I'm going to even, I'm going to wake stream. No, no, no. Like no, no. Pile, that's beforehand. the thing. It's, it's not an ar- It's not going to be an archive. It's just the whole thing's dropped. You can skip through it. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, it's not going to be a live. It's going to be just a video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's going like, to be a, it's just going to be a YouTube video. Just drop. That's thing. Min- Nintendo That's Direct Mini I know it is very dumb Nintendo Direct Mini doesn't mean anything anymore Because the last one was like 30 minutes long So it's like It literally just means that it's not broadcasted Like it's not a live stream Yeah. I don't know why They would do that yeah. Like it's I, I personally think it's fucking it, stupid as shit listen, Like I don't it, Here's the thing Here's the thing I here's understand the thing. No, 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 no I, I'm telling you I don't Like bro even if like today they were just like, even if you even if you gave me five hour notice, like like hey tomorrow morning stay tuned to this thing, that's like enough. Exactly, that's more than enough. Yeah, well here here's the thing. Uh-huh. Nintendo is unlike any other Japanese course, company yeah. out there. Um, They're psychotic. This is really stupid what they do. They do a lot of stupid oh, ass shit. Of course, yeah. Yeah, well, listen here, them. it makes sense from their perspective. Look in their eyes. They of dropped course, that mar- yeah. They dropped the mini direct in March. Got millions of views. They're yeah, like, they're okay. gonna. They dropped the Paper yeah. Mario direct or the Paper Mario announcement on Twitter. Got like seventy thousand yeah. likes. Like, okay, it's got seen. No, nope. they're, they're gonna. Eyes, they're gonna really own the day. No matter what. But what I mean no, is, the, is, but the thing is how like it's like it's not hard. It's not hard to put a tweet and say, "Yo, no. tell direct." Like, Even if they did it like an hour before, I would still appreciate. Because that. I would but, say, yeah, because I would say it sucks for people that like. What if you woke up late, you wanted to watch this and be surprised, and you see your phone's yeah. blowing up? It's it's like that me. literally happened to yeah. me in March. <laughs> oh, wait, what about okay? What about me for example? Um, I could literally say, "Oh, I could like plan out a work day, right?" Yeah, I, I work in the morning. Exactly. So imagine I'm at work and oh, it's no fucking direct drop. So I'm just like, yeah. bro. And it's like, like, like let's say someone like us, any, any one of us, right? If we were to wake up late for some reason, our I would literally. 
if I was one minute late to a Nintendo Direct, my phone would have 78,000 notifications about like what was announced. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. That's it a, so, already. Yeah, I hate the mini. This is why I hate the mini the most because it, listen, they didn't even, even if like, let's say Nintendo didn't announce it, but they did a premiere on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. A premiere, that's still that better be great, because yeah. people skip to the end and post it on Twitter the second it airs and it's annoying. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, bro, I got, I got spoiled on Xenoblade's release date. Right on March, I didn't get spoiled. I didn't get spoiled that reason. Yeah, that was fucking okay. Up. Yeah, I kind of knew it. I just said that. But listen, 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 that listen, makes listen. no sense. Wait, wait, wait. I know I what he means. I know what he means. Like, it's still exciting to know a release date when you thought, yeah, it could I be just like like to do stuff when it happens. Yeah, that's and fine. I'm lucky I didn't get spoiled on the arms character. Like, exactly. Oh, that's what I got spoiled on. I don't yeah. think, no, I didn't get spoiled. I, I luckily didn't. I, I got a notification, I ran to my computer. Uh, and that's how I yeah, if So, like, yeah. if they do this again tomorrow, I'm making sure I'm, I'm up two hours up, Yeah, I'm going to be streaming. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming 15 hours, uh, 15 minutes, sorry, not 15, 15 minutes well, before the 10 a.m. <laughs> Eastern well, for time. For you guys who live in the United States or, like, in North America, right? Uh -huh. Do this. Like, before you sleep, have Nintendo's Twitter, uh, like, up and, I don't know. I'm going to have 97. I'm going to have 97 alarms. I, I won't sleep through it anyways. I wake up on an alarm easily. Um, okay. Yeah. But yeah, no. So, but yeah. So let's so let's do some quick predictions here, right? Because tomorrow, so oh. if this is happening, which I, I'm pretty sure it is by this point, every, every person, even even people I know that tell me shit or like in in other uh, like server and stuff, have told me it's, it's like it seems to be just happening tomorrow. So, what do you guys? Let's let's go here. Let's go, Johnny. What like give me one thing you want to see tomorrow? Like let's go one by one or two. Give me two things you want to see tomorrow. Um, Breath of the Wild 2, and No More Heroes 3. Okay, 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 Noah? Challenger Pack 7, okay. and um, I want to see the Mario Collection in action, okay. which I think is pretty likely. All right, Paya, if we get one tomorrow, what, what are two things you want to see? Two or three things. Okay, uh... Number one, it's by the free. I just want to see that it's still wrong. Like an actual, like an actual, because like at this point it's annoying. I don't remember last time, because I remember last time I watched it, uh, that's like, I just, like, I have, have a one minute of season trailer. That, that's like, that's enough. Don't even say the year it's coming out. Just say it's, it's, it's not, not, not dead, officially not dead or something. They've said uh, multiple that's... times in interviews it's not yeah, dead. No, 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 I, I, I want, I want proof this time. I don't, I don't, I don't want no. that proof. Okay, I want proof. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Show me Bayonetta <laughs> running. Game wasn't canceled. <laughs> and so anything Breath of the Wild 2. Okay. Uh, and the official holiday uh, game. Okay. Year. That's that's what I like. Okay. Jeff? That's official. Paper, Pokemon Snap. Two or three My things genius. you want to see uh, your other than. Uh, I want to see Bio 3, like Bio said. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I always a smart guy sometimes. You know? Sometimes. Like he, he, knows, he knows a good shit. Uh, he does. Uh, no, uh, seriously, uh, seriously, I want to see Bio 3. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like if I see Bio 3, my soul is going to leave my body, so I won't be like, so available. So you won't be I won't be available for the rest of the conference. Oh, but let's say it doesn't happen, so I would like to see like something else. Okay. Breath of the Wild 2. Like, I don't expect to see yeah, uh, full gameplay, but at least I want to see like uh, a trailer of the world or something, the, the more context, basically. Right, okay. Uh, I want to see uh, uh, oh. Days Gone 2. Right. Oh, Days Gone 2. <laughs> yes, yes, that yes. makes sense. I like that. I, like. Want, I want, I want, I want near Replicant All right. <laughs> on Switch. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I, I don't even care for Switch. I just want a trailer. So, Jeff, remember replicant. when I told you? Remember when I told you this year and you didn't believe oh, me? And I'm I wanting you... to see near Replicant to that because yes. I'm desperate. Listen, well, Jeff, I'll remember tell you when what I told is. you? I'll I... tell you what is. What's up? What's up, Noah? Pyro's favorite game, or I'm sorry, Jeremy's favorite game, Life is Strange, and she'll be coming to the Nintendo Switch tomorrow. That's so random. Why? <laughs> Donkey Kong will be lit. I don't know. I'm just saying it'll happen. Are you guessing or would, you, you, you heard? You I'm heard guessing. I'm, I'm completely oh. guessing. Okay, okay. I would love um, to do Donkey Kong. What was I going to say? Je oh, yeah, Jeff. I was saying, I fucking told you, by the way. I told you this entire year. You told me. Near replicants not coming out this year. Do you still think it's coming out this year? There's no way. I do. I do. I do. There's no way. We haven't even seen this game. 
Uh, we have. We have seen screenshots. Okay, I don't. Oh. No, we saw artwork screen. I want to see oh, wow. screenshots. I no. This game's no, not coming no, out this no, year. No, 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 no. They're not out for this screenshot. They're in-game screenshots. Okay, well, yeah, either way, it's not coming out yeah, this year. You can. You're psychotic. And uh, but I like your I like your optimism. Up. I like your optimism. Okay, um, I must be optimistic at least somewhere. Yeah, exactly. You gotta have some moments. Let's see. For me, the three things. For me, you guys know all I want is the Mario remaster. If I see the Mario remastered tomorrow, I don't. I physically don't know what I'm gonna do to myself. I actually don't know. <laughs> and I, I need you to dis destroy your computer okay, okay here's what i'm want. thinking here's what i'm thinking i think today i'm gonna buy a gallon of water okay jesus and i think it's so that if i see yes for real, for real, do you know that's not a gallon what do you mean i want a gallon can you have an egg next to you? Smash it to that, please. Smash eggs. Please, please. No, oh, no, yeah. John, you know, you know, no, 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 John, you know what a gallon is? Like the things you find, like you know, like when you you go to those stores and like you pump out a bit of water to drink from those little plastic cups. Those big ass things. Yeah, yeah. This, like this. Here, that, like, that's, that's not a gallon. It says gallon when I Google it. Wait, that 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 book gallon bigger? is like four liters, right? Okay, what's oh, that's this? like a five gallon, Fidel. Okay, so I want to buy this, right? The, the, oh my God, he's gonna get a five. Wait, I want to get. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm gonna send you it. Okay, my. You mean why are you this to podcast? This, no, no, this is okay. podcast. No, yeah, this. No, you yeah. mean this? Thing? Yes, yes, that's this. Like yes. Five gallons. That's five gallons. Okay, okay. I want a lot of water. Okay. Oh, so that, if I see it, if I see the Mario remaster, so if I see the Mario remaster. You're gonna spend so much time cleaning that up. Yeah, but like that's it'll be so worth it because it's Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you have to spend the rest day and clean that it. up. It takes hours to get rid of the egg smell. It's just water. Yeah, exactly. no, I agree. It's just Your water. Your going to smell. No, no, no. He's oh saying, no, no. Pi is defending me. He's saying for water, for for eggs, it would smell. For water, it's going to be fine. No, yeah, exactly. Drew, carpet's going to smell for you. I don't have carpet. I have clean. a wood floor. Oh. <laughs> put towels no. down before you can do it, please. Exactly. Put, put don't run that's your heart a lot words. of water. Okay, that's okay, a lot. Okay, fine. Okay. I'll figure something out. The point is, I, all man, I want to see. Man is going to have his PC in a swimming pool. Oh, I, I, tomatoes. I, tomatoes. 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 I don't tomatoes. have tomatoes. Bro, here's something. Listen, I, I think I'm going to need. Go, I'm gonna, go buy tomatoes right now. Come on, please. I'm not going to buy tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. Ew. No, that's like, you're not going to eat it, though. You're just going to smash it up your head. Listen, listen. This, I don't know. My point is tomorrow, guys. What about, what about, what about watermelon? What, about, I just what need, is going on? You guys just need to understand. You don't understand. Bro, bro. Tyler, if, he needs to break open a watermelon with his bare hands, eat the watermelon, and then stick it on his head. Yes, but you yes, don't, you don't understand, bro. I, like, the fact that I'm actually, like, cry, I'm about to cry. The fact that tomorrow we might see Mario. Re oh, oh, my God. Are you okay? <laughs> for, for yes. For the, it's, yes. It's like. Dude. Do something else. I don't know what to do, man. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna rip a shirt. I'm gonna fucking. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> don't do that you. because just you won't get suspended just from Twitch. Just the one egg. Yeah, just do an egg. You don't just get do suspended eggs. for ripping your shirt off. I've ripped my shirt off. The if you if you show nipples on Twitch, then you will get suspended. <laughs> oh, you're right. Wait, what? Why? Yeah, you can't. Show because me. that's basic nudity. But you can't. Like oh. nipples are okay on Twitch for men. No, they're yeah. okay if you go going swimming or something. They actually like require you to have that like a shirt. So on. Yeah, but if you're watching, yeah. I've seen yeah. videos where guys like are shirtless and like not like when we're doing. No, live reactions. People work out. no Fidel, Fidel, yes. just wear a dark shirt. It's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna wear two shirts. All right, I'm gonna wear two shirts just in case. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're a, uh, uh, what the fuck's called? Listen, bro, my like muscle is, shirt. I'm gonna have a fucking seizure. I don't know what to do. Oh, just no, please have it. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay. See. But man, I just, yeah, that's all I want, man. And like, honestly, that's all. If if there's anything, there's gonna be other stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do to myself, bro. I, I, they're all, I think they're gonna show. I predicted. That. I did my show with Ultima yesterday about this. I think we're gonna see the next Smash character come out in October probably. But um, yeah, I th I think uh, that's when we're gonna see. What else do I wanna see? Um, I wanna see what. Yeah, I wanna Kid see. Kid Icarus is not gonna happen, but I, I admire oh, your that optimism. that would never happen, but I would lose my mind. I would oh, admire your okay. optimism. Um, I think we're gonna see, like, 
I'm curious to see like what like I want to see whatever one new game is like I, like obviously the Mario Master is gonna be incredible and and obviously DLC is DLC but I want to see like what's a new game that's coming this year whether it's a 2D Metroid or something that or the F Zero thing that we've heard a rumor of it's, it's like Mario Kart Nine Mario Kart Nine if we see Mario Kart I don't know no I, I don't have this conversation anymore I'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> even seeing 3D World with new cut bro it's over bro tomorrow's my day okay tomorrow's my okay day. yes. Do you have any other predictions anyone wants to throw around for tomorrow? Um, please, please, a UI update. All right, I'm going to throw out a crazy play. prediction. Okay, no. Sonic I'm... is coming. Let's go. Sonic is at the direct. See, here's the thing. Here's my thing, right? I watched Game Explains prediction video, right? <laughs> and Mr. John Carr, and I, I love you, John. John, you're great, right? And he said something bold, but I wanted to cry of joy when he said it. He was like, Sonic Colors will be ported exclusively to Nintendo Switch since it was a Wii exclusive. And Wait, you mean John from Game Explain? John from Game Explain, yeah. 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 He's... But the thing is he teased like a lot. Like a understand. lot persona. I'm not, I'm not fucking around. Well, listen, okay, listen, listen, if, if, listen, if, if I'm I gonna say Sonic is happening tomorrow. Listen, okay, if I, I if I see Sonic Colors tomorrow. It's over. It's over. It's, it's done. I'm going to have a seizure. All right? If you have no, like, mm-hmm. actually, though, this might be Fidel's favorite direct ever. Mario oh, Remasters and a new Sonic in Sonic on I don't Switch. know what's going to happen to me. I'll rip my Sonic, like, fuck that, that fucking thing that, that was, <laughs> ah, too, man. I got to figure, okay. my, I got to figure my life If out. If Sonic comes out, you, like, you have to rip your Sonic poster behind you. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm too happy right now. Anyways, guys, so. I think uh, I think that's everything. Unless you got anything else you want to say? Um, Fuck bio. Nintendo bio. Switch is coming to PC oh. in 2019. Okay. Halo in 2019. See, here's my thing. Well, how crazy would it be, right? If, like, think of how genius this would be. What if tomorrow they reveal the next character? And it's like, and it's Master Chief to get people even more <laughs> hyped for the fucking gameplay reveal of Halo on Thursday. Oh my oh god! Oh my yeah. god! I, 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 even I would be excited. Isn't it, this the wave? Explode. The internet would explode. <laughs> but I think uh, tomorrow it's either gonna be Master Chief or Gino. So there you go. I, I honestly, Gino was hinted at. I I think he, I'm gonna be bold and say that it's gonna be another first party. I say third party. It has I, hope third party. It, I hope it's third party, but I think with the Corona stuff, it could be another first. Yeah, that's what I was but thinking. We'll Rex, maybe. We're going to see, man. There's yeah, too much excitement. Go. Let's go. And, of course, I will be here to cover it all with you guys. I'll be live reacting to it. You can expect my ass to be there, okay? Can you expect my ass? Okay. I can expect your ass, all right? Thank you all for watching this week's episode. Go play Paper Mario. Make sure to retweet the retweet stream. Retweet the yeah, fucking retweet podcast. The remember, retweet and the stream. The stream and remember... Remember, buy Paper Mario. You can think about buying Ghost. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't really tell you. Wow, you can't this. recommend it. But, oh, but I'll buy please. Ghost because of wow. PC. Yeah, same. Wow. Yeah. All right, everybody say their goodbyes. Jeff, say goodbye. Um, play Donkey Kong. Oh, wait, shit, we forgot. Wait. Fun facts with Storm oh, Your, huh? Fun no! facts for Storm no. Your. Uh, welcome oh to our God. final segment of the podcast no. where we, uh. where Storm Your uh, give us a fun fact about something video game related or something, right? So, what do you uh, got for us? Uh, that's a good question. What do I have for what you? What you got? What uh, you got? Tell um, me. Uh, uh, Be bold. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, pr- um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I agree. Amazing. Yes, <laughs> I love that one. Yes. That's it. That's the oh. fact. Oh, that's we have the fact. Yeah, we did have the fact. It was about Sonic, so you didn't hear it coming. It was too fast. Yeah, that's it. That was actually pretty. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all yeah. next week. Peace out. I hate everything. Adios.